Alright, here for round one, win the die roll, which is pretty nice. Um, I forgot to mention to you in the deck tech that I am running the combo, so Sage's Row will close out games. I uh, don't like Sage's Row in the opener. I do like Strands and Dignitary if he's an aggro deck. So I'm going to keep this hand, and uh, I mean, I don't hope to play against aggro, but I won't mind it. If he is, Island means he's probably not aggro. Um, probably just go ahead and get this Chancery out. <coughs> Enable fr Prismatic Strands, play Stonehorn, whatever. Alright, so he's either mono, he's probably mono blue based on this opener. Uh, he's got a Ponder. I mean, he could still be something crazy like a blue red control or whatever, but I think at this point I'm pretty safe to assume he's a uh, mono blue. Um, I don't see a reason to hold up strands. I think I'm just going to play out the Sage's Row. I'm going to beat him with Muldrifter beatdowns. I don't need the combo. So I'll just play out Sage's Row as a blocker. And because he was tapped out, so I could. Alright, yep. Looks like he's mono blue, Delver. So I'm pretty happy that I play out the Sages right there. Um, could just jam out Stonehorn here. I don't mind him countering Stonehorn. I kind of do want to, to get Seagate out. Um. I mean, maybe I wait, but he's representing Counterspell. Eh, let's just play out Stonehorn. I hope he doesn't force spike it. That would be the worst, but eh, what are you going to do? Okay, hard Counterspell, that's good. I am, uh, I'm very happy with a hard Counterspell on my Stonehorn. Okay, plays a, reveals a snap. So mono blue is going to be a worse matchup for us than like a blue red. Because their mana is more consistent and they've got um, just better counter spells. Or they're more likely to be able to hold up counter spell. Okay, compulsive is a good draw. Um, Beating it with our counter, whether I cast it here. I think I'm going to bait out the Seagate here. Let's see if he counters that. Okay, no Seagate. All right, let's target him with that. Uh, save targets always yield. <coughs> and Seagate gives me a Muldra for a Preordain. It's kind of a rough call, um, but probably just Mole Drifter. Uh, no attacks. Okay, accumulated knowledge. Maybe I should uh, turn off the Sage's Row targeting him since he's playing accumulated knowledge. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. Drew another mold drifter. Um, Alright, how do I win this game? I can cast Compulsive. See if he counters that. Yeah, let's start that way. Hmm. This is kind of... 
kind of hard actually. Right, I'm going to discard two cards. I'm going to discard strands and deep analysis. Um, let's start to cast another compulsive research. Yeah. Again, hoping for not four spike. That would be the worst. But I can't play around it. All right. Okay, so I've got a handful of stuff. Now I just need to draw lands. Cast multiple, like, mole drifters and stuff per turn. And hope that he misses his land drops. Given that he's pondering, he may not. Alright, another Delver's, Delver's pretty bad for us. So if his Delver flips him around two turns to to do something about what he's doing. Uh, man, I wish that prohibit was land. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, Moldrifter's not going to get through. Let's cast Seagate. know if I fight over the Seagate. Oh, Prohibit or Sunscape? Definitely just Sunscape. Um, hmm. I missed my land drop, so I'm going to go ahead and cast Deep Analysis, see if I can hit it. Preordained, this will probably get spell stuttered, but I can't not do anything about this, what he's doing. Um, hmm. So we're going to discard Mold Drifter. Actually, we'll discard strands. I'm gonna hope to get through, uh, get through a white creature next turn. <clears throat> it may not happen, but I said this is a pretty rough matchup in general. Ugh, man, he's got a ninja too. Oof. Well, um, that does mean I'll be able to get through a creature, though, because I have the prohibit. So I'll get through a creature. Oh, maybe not. He's got two blue mana. Okay, well, if he casts Augur, then I'll be able to get through a creature. That's pretty nice. Um, the creature will be Stonehorn, though. Oh, man. I wish I could cast that Faithful, but I can't. So, let's see here. Even if I get through Stonehorn, he can counter the Strands. So I cast Prohibit, then I cast Archaeomancer, that doesn't work. Uh, unfortunate. Well, I guess we just have to hope for him to misplay. Well, actually, no. I cast Stonehorn, Prohibit his Counterspell. Okay, well, he doesn't even Counterspell, that's pretty nice. Okay. Okay, so I 
I'm going to cast Sunscape and I will fight over this. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to fight with one prohibit. Mm, not what I wanted to see, but unfortunately I have to. Yep. All right. And he has to snap, so as long as he snaps uh, at the end of turn, I'm dead. We'll put a stop in his upkeep. Or if he just has another counter spell. Yep. All right. That's it. Uh, all right. So we want dispels for sure, and we want deep analysis for sure. Uh, Stonehorn is actually less good against him as his prismatic strands. And then probably just want to bring in more another God Pharaohs, another couple God Pharaohs. Uh, confound is a thing that could happen, but I'm only preventing snaps that way, so I don't think that's worth it. Uh, so we'll just cut another God Pharaohs to hit 60 cards. Alright, let's go for that. <clears throat> Now, like Delver's mono blue Delver is probably one of this deck's worst matchups. All right, well, we got to turn two fam and then prohibit Seagate. It's a pretty good hand. Uh, obviously, just going to slam the fam on turn two. Ugh, man, turn one Delver. Rough. I mean, we got game against that, but not a lot. Because it's going to put us on a pretty quick clock. Especially if you just blind flips. He didn't. That's really, really good. <laughs> uh, a blind flip del Delver is pretty unbeatable. Alright, so let's get out this Seagate, leaving up Prohibit. Um, I do kind of want this Sanctuary, but Compulsive is really good. But I have Deep Analysis, so I'm just going to take the Sanctuary here. Just make sure I hit the land drops. Might regret that in a little bit, but uh, let's see. What do I want to see? I want to see like a God Pharaoh's Faithful. That would be the best. Maybe another Fam, even. Two cards on bottom. Mm. All right, let's preordain. See if we can beat out the spell stutter here. No, no spell stutter. Bottom that. I think we're actually going to tap top the island. So do I deep analysis here? Mm. No, it's just a free counter spell for him, so I'm not going to do that. We'll make him fight over the over deep analysis. Okay, accumulated knowledge. All right, God Pharaoh's faithful. That's a great draw. Um, Go ahead and get him out there. 
just kind of stems the delver bleeding a little bit. Okay, we'll prohibit the spell stutter. I'll be counter spells the prohibit. Well, actually, it doesn't matter what he does. As long as he doesn't have like double dispel, I think I'll be fine. Okay. Faithful went through, which is good. Um, debating now whether I top the preordain or the prohibit. I think I'm just going to top the preordain. I need to see like a mole drifter or a couple of mole drifters now. Uh, still not going to just cast deep analysis and give him a free counterspell. Oh, man. Um, I will dispel that. It's two cards. It's too easy for him to just draw that. I'll hopefully run him out of, like, useful cards. Oh, man. Have the third accumulated. That's a beating. Um, hmm. So let's sanctuary the prohibit, and then we will deep analysis. Preordain, prohibit a spell stutter. I don't think I need a chancery, so we're going to bottom that, we'll top the preordain, and then we will preordain again, since he, did, since he can't spell stutter it. Alright, Muldrifter and Seagate, I think I want both of those. Okay. We're at a pretty solid life total too. Now. As long as he doesn't like draw another accumulated knowledge, <laughs> that'd be rough. Now let's see if we can bait out the counter spell. Like another faithful, but I think I think I have to take the prohibit. Yep. Just drawing more cards with deep analysis now. I'm not gonna give him access to just counterspell stuff for free. If he wants to fight me, he has to have at least two counterspells. Alright, preordain. Don't need another fam. Debating whether I take the planes now. I think I do.
All right, so next turn we can cast Moldrifter and Mortuary Mire it back to the top if he counters it. Um, it's an odd attack from his Augur. I'll block both. In case he has like a Piracy Charm or something. Strange. Um, all right. Let's go and evoke Moldrifter. And maybe we'll just hard cast it. I don't have anything else to do after if it doesn't. No, shoot. I accidentally evoked it. All right. Well, I guess we're in on the ephem Ephemerate plan. Not what I wanted to do, but I guess that's what I'm doing. All right. Uh, cycle Ash Barons. I did mean to hard cast that. Moldrifter didn't work out the way I wanted to, but I meant to. Also, I guess now I have three fams. He's still making this attack, which I don't quite understand, but. Well, what am I going to do? Alright, so cast, not cast with evoke this time. Oh man, I forgot I got three fams out. Oh wow, he let that resolve? Okay, well, um, pretty sure I'm just like gonna win this game then. I think, mean, I think that means he's out of counter spells. If he didn't counter spell that. Uh, goodness. All right, let's take the Archaeomancer. Answer, I'll get back a prohibit. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I think I like that. The way that that was set up. The faithful did a lot of work there and just keep me alive. Keep me not under the pressure. Uh, this hand's not keepable. Alright, this hand's fine. Probably turn back. Mm. Keep this, send back the ephemerate. Hope he doesn't have turn two spell setter up. So we're just going to hope he doesn't have turn 2 spell starter out. He's been pretty aggressive on his turn 2 uh, augers though, so I'm going to guess that he's not going to leave it up. Yeah. That's, that's good for me. That means I can get the faithful out and preordain uh, without having to worry about the spell starter. Oh, and he missed with auger. That's pretty good. Pretty good for me. Chancery and Seagate. Uh, yeah, I think I want both of those. Snaps my faithful. Solid. I 
means he almost certainly has a spell starter. And now I have to debate whether I want to let him spell start of the faithful or not. So either a spell start or he has ninja. Now that I think about it. No, it's just spell starter. Okay. So do I let him spell start of the faithful? I think I do. I think the fact that he doesn't have a delver. Oh, he just has a counterspell? Okay. Uh, not what I'd spend my counterspells on against this deck, but uh, to each their own, I suppose. Exclude an island. Um, I'll take both those, I think. Yeah, given they don't have any counterspells right now, I think I'll just take both of them. Play the Chancery out. Bounce the planes. If I had a prohibit or something there, I probably would have gotten rid of the... Oh man, here's the ninja. Okay. It's rough. So, gotta hope he doesn't have a counterspell now. If he does, we're pretty rough shape. Okay, he doesn't have a counterspell. Good. So, definitely just gonna slam the Seagate. Wow, did he miss again? Whew. He missed with the logger again. That is just nuts. Um, yeah, given that he doesn't have counter spell up, we're just going to play that Seagate out. And we can block the ninja. Archaeomancer or Island. I've got enough lands, I think. I'll just take the Archaeomancer. We got the Mortmeyer, put Faithful on top. Do I like that idea? Yeah, I think so. Let's do it. So play out Faithful next turn, and if he needs a Counterspell, that's fine. But if he Spell Stutters it, then I can cast Exclude. So that would be very sweet. I gotta hope for no piracy charm here. Oh, just another ninja. That sucks. All right. Let's see if he'll miss a third time with the auger. It looks like you actually hit this time. I have to debate which one to take. Snap. Solid. Solid. Okay. So. We have planes on an island. Planes just lets us represent more than we actually have. Whether or not that's true, uh, well. Doesn't much matter. So I'll try and snap the faithful, I assume. <clears throat> no? Okay. Well, we're definitely just blocking and blocking. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have a third ninja, that would really suck. He does have a third ninja. That really sucks. Okay. So how do we win now? Three ninjas out. Ugh. Coral net. Um... Okay, so... 
He hasn't played a land yet, so I'm going to hope that he doesn't have an extra land here. Okay, it's a dispel. That's fine. Sacrifice it unless you discard a card. Hmm. If I discard like an exclude, play our cam answer, that doesn't do it. I could just discard an island. Yeah. He's tapped out here, so I'm going to discard an island this time. Cast Mole Drifter. Yeah. Oh, Seagate's or Sunscape. It's a pretty solid draw. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna play Sunscape, cast our Kaomancer, get back, flicker. All right, yeah, I like that. Remove the yields on that on that crawl net. Where did that thing go? Oh, here we I think if he didn't have three ninjas in the top, we'd probably be okay now. Oh, wow. Okay. He conceded. Um, that match was far from over. He still had a snap in hand. But uh, I'll take it. 